Between 600 and 1250 AD, this ancient city of Chichen Itza, which name literally means at the mouth of the Itza well, was the center of political and economic, religious and military power of the region, not only in the Yucatan, but all of Mesoamerica. The Itza domain included parts of Tabasco and the Campeche in the North Gulf Coast as large part of southern lowlands, and its sphere of control was based on regional long-distance mercantile activities, which generated one of the most important commercial circuits in all of Mesoamerica. Little is known about the Itza in general, but this hut was the actual hut, home to Jerry Itza, the king of the Tetua Khan. And one of the innovative things that has never been discovered before is how incredibly clean they were. The Mayans built these structures, these beautiful edifices, where they could throw away their trash, sacrificial hearts, skins after they were used, all fit neatly into these containers, which they took their slaves around and emptied periodically. Originally built around 500 AD, this was the Great Temple of Chichen Itza. Built by Nick Chichen Itza, he constructed this temple completely by himself. Everyone was quite impressed, they made him chief, until his brother Lu created a much grander one. The Mayans were very, very articulate, and they had their own system of hieroglyphs. At the very base of the temple of Luisa is one of the earliest hieroglyphs, which shows that it is forbidden to climb the temple. The concept of murdering the losing team is a tradition held today. In fact, one only needs to look to the Iraqi soccer team to see this grand tradition passed down. If we look up here, we can see the little holes where they had to kick the ball through. Quite impressive given the people were only two feet tall. Signs everywhere say one is not allowed to climb the pyramids anymore. And my natural inclination as an anthropologist, an archaeologist, a scientist, and a pop musician is to say, we'll see about that. So up I go, the great temple of Tetuacan, Kublai Khan, or Genghis, I'm not really sure. Now I am standing at the very top of the great pyramid thingy. I can hear by the footsteps that contemporary Mayan security is on their way. But it is far too steep for me to climb down. They will have to come get me. At the very top of this massive temple is where they sacrificed virgins. I bet you'd like to sacrifice a few virgins, wouldn't you? Um, <coughs> getting back to the historical documentary... Uh, oh no, you've, you've totally thrown me off now. I can't even do the British accent. Here, you do it. You do the documentary. Go ahead. Go ahead. And at the top of this magnificent... <laughs> Recorded in this very spot, Phil Collins recorded this song. I remember! You hear it? Amazing, the Mayans invented reverb. No, it's functionally impossible to kick anything through those little holes. God said, a rich man going to heaven has as much chance as a camel going through the eye of the needle. But I think 
The Mayans had even more of an impossible task. That hole is only about this big. The balls they used were about this big. So it's kind of like a carnival trick, you know, where you're there and you're trying to shoot the baskets through the hoops, but the hoops are bent. So inevitably everyone died, and that's why we're here today. They all died playing this game. My theory, bit revolutionary, bit controversial, my theory. This is uh, this is good for uh, marijuana. Yeah. This is good for marijuana. Yes. yes. Wow. This is Mayan calendar exactly. So it finishes in 2012. Finishes in 2012. This is now. And then you have to buy another yeah. one. This that one. goes for 2013. The problem I have is that there's no place to write with a pen, you know, if you've got to go to the movies or you're having a dinner party. For a calendar, I want something where I can write in the... And it ends in next... Oh. Sure, this. An ashtray here. This one is the Aztec. Is an Aztec ashtray? Yeah, this one is the Aztec. Who is, one, who's the guy in the middle? This Who? one is the guy, is the sound. Yeah, is it, yeah. Is it not bit, it's not a bit disrespectful to flick your ashes in his face. <laughs> I like that could send some bad things, it's bad karma for your life. Yeah. It's, this one is same for this. I like the that. Aztec. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, because that one, that one is just onyx. That, now it's just mm. lampstone. And this is the, the Mayan Virgin Mary. Yeah, this is the, uh, this the Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Mexico. Yes. That's fantastic. So if we look over into the grounds here, we can see the fascinating... Tim, Tim, I thought we were going to have a nice vacation. I just want to relax and walk around the ruins and look at the cool old stuff. Would you quit talking like David Attenborough and just relax? But I find it quite fascinating and absolutely outstanding that... Ay, caramba. <sighs> look, I'll stop, okay? I'll stop, yeah, yeah. Can I get you a pina colada or something to make up for it? I, I know you wanted to have uh, some nice vacation film, and uh, I know it's kind of uncool of me, but I'm just, I'm interested in history, sue me. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that I don't know you and go with that. All right, I'm gonna do this part in my own voice and very serious. The mines at Chichen Itza invented tic-tac-toe, and that is a fact. It's not just some crap I'm making up, it is a fact. And here it is all carved in stone and stuff. And um, yeah, so it's like way cool because they were really bored out here in the jungle. So they needed a lot of those kind of driving games like tic-tac-toe and they also did slug bug, but they did that with jaguars. <laughs> 